So former Ukrainian president Viktor Yushchenko has added his voice to the flurry of accusations related to the recent Russian elections. Vladimir Putin was re-elected for a sixth term over the weekend. That's by an 87% landslide victory. Yushchenko is in South Africa to attend the Free the Children concert. It's aimed at drawing attention to the plight of children who've been illegally taken from their homes in Ukraine and deported to Russia. Well, my colleague Aldrin Sampia caught up with the Yuchenko yesterday to discuss various topics, starting with his reflections on the Russian elections, which the US and UK have characterized as not being free and fair. We see that we're facing a military regime which shoots, arrests all political opposition and basically holds elections with themselves. And it's funny when the world looks and wonders what the result is of the Russian elections. We, we could have told you two months ago what the result would be. It would be about 90% because there are no elections there. Because in Russia, the, the votes are not coming from the voters, but from the secret services. If the Russian journalist asked any kind of difficult questions, as you can, he would be arrested in 30 minutes. І відвезли як Навального до Сєвєрного Волка колонії. Я до того веду, що це така реальність. І ми повинні мати чутливішу реакцію до зла, яка наша реальність українська приймає у вигляді недолі для самих маленьких людей, дітей. The tragedy that's faced mostly by the very youngest. I believe that journalists and political forces of South Africa, as a great leader of the continent, as a great leader on the African continent. And we hope that you will speak in a louder voice on this issue. And of course, we are very grateful for the solidarity that we have seen already in South African policy. Our current DG, the Director General of Foreign Affairs, the Foreign Affairs Ministry, is on his way to Kiev, actually, in Ukraine, um, Zain Zango. What is it that you expect from the South African government in terms of trying to find a solution to this ongoing war? And perhaps maybe also looking at how close South Africa is to Russia. What do you think could be whispered into Putin's ear? Що ви чекаєте від нас і вважаючи, що ми є близькі до Росії, що ми можемо пошептати в вухо Путіна? Ну, я думаю, що задача перша – це один одному подивитися в річі. I think the first thing is to look one each, look each other in the eyes. If it's not the first meeting, then early or late, between us it strengthens our trust one to another. And with each meeting that we have, our trust between us is building. And in the context of this trust, we can honestly talk about the situation of aggression against Russia. And, he, and because of the trust that we are building between our nations, we can talk honestly about what the Russian aggression means for Ukraine. You know, what we fear is that the Russian war on our country could be the beginning of a third world war. I think a wise world leadership will do everything to make sure this does not happen.
І тому такі регіональні лідери, як ваша країна, and that's why regional leaders such as your country може формулювати позиції can formulate positions зараз ми говоримо про безпеку і питання in areas starting now with national security а на конференції ми говоримо про дитячу репатріацію and other issues such as today's talk about um, repatriating our, our children на мій погляд це дуже ну, очевидний порядок дня I think it's obvious what our issues, our common issues are. I think the first thing is that we agree that we're both against, your country and my country are against war. That's not, that's very simple. So, so please tell Putin he has to stick to those commitments he made to Ukraine. Він визнав нашу, визнав нашу територіальну цілісність. Подивіться до 2010 року його заяви. Він чутно христиться, що у нас немає жодної територіальної претензії до України. Росія, Україна підписали веч, вечний договір. We signed an eternal agreement of friendship. Ми підписали 400 договорів міждержавних, міжурядових, міжміністерських. There are more than 400 agreements that our two states at all levels have signed between each other. У нас була конструкція відносин суверенних держав. We talk to each other as two sovereign nations. Як очевидно, у вас існує, як очевидно, існує більшості світу. The sovereign nations like your nation, every nation. Людина, порушила, and the person that я, я людина, and again I want to say it was one individual that went against all these agreements. Тому що в Росії не працює на конституційному рівні жодна палат думи. You know, and he was able to violate it because in Russia there is not a parliament. Жоден уряд not a real government or even regional government. In Russia only one thing matters and that's what Putin is thinking today. And his mind might work that by this evening he decides to declare war against someone else. So what we are asking is that let's sit down together talk about the various issues better understand together what this war means and its parameters and let's talk about simple matters of our solidarity together and work together щоб ця війна не мала поширення. To make sure this yeah. war does not go further. What brings you here is of course the release of the children. This is a matter that is before the ICC, the International Criminal Court. Is the court failing the children of Ukraine? Відбудеться. There will be an international criminal court case on this. Виграє. We will win Проти Путіна. against Putin. Сьогодні на всіх стовпах у Європі, як ви поїдете, висить портрет Путіна і оголошення розшукується міжнародний злочин. In every country of the world, Putin's face is on a poster as a wanted criminal. Це людина, яка краде дітей. Because he is a kidnapper of children. Лідер другої партії в Росії, путінської, Андрій Миронов, удочерив дитинку із України. The number two in his party adopted a Ukrainian child. Це другий кандидат. This, I'm sorry, this was the other candidate in the elections, Миронов, adopted a Ukrainian child. Третє дитячий амбасадор Росії. Синовила удочерила двоє дівчаток, здається. The, um, the, for the representative for children in Russia has adopted two Ukrainian children. Я думаю, що це третій кандидат після Путіна. 
we think all these people we think should be in criminal court as well. I mean, he, she is in criminal court. They should all be in criminal court. Чи ви відкриваєте книгами, якими живе іслам, чи книги, якими живе православ'я, чи книги, якими живе католицизм, чи книги, на яких збазований віра єврейської нації кругом великими буквами написано саме головне життя яке покоління може дати і передати слідущому поколінню це життя цієї маленької дитини you know, whatever religious text you look at whether you're talking about the Muslims, whether you're talking about the Christians, whether you're talking about the Jews, the number one, they talk about the sanctity of children and the need to carry on in the generations. So let's take this biblical step. Well, that was former president of Ukraine, Viktor Yuchenko, in conversation with Aldrin Simpiak.